What is up guys, AshBFC here and welcome to a quick look video on Resident Evil 7. So I'm going to play about 20 minutes to half an hour of the game and just give you my very first thoughts and impressions on it. I'll be honest, I'm not expecting much, in fact I'm expecting to not like this game. Um, I haven't followed this game whatsoever, I'm mostly in the dark, I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, I don't know what the story is, I don't know how or if it's even connected to the other games. I mean I did play the demo on PS4 but that was only a very small part of the game. Uh, I didn't hate it but I just kind of thought it was... Meh, really, I didn't think it was anything special. Um, I was a massive fan of Resident Evil back in the day, and the first one I played was Resident Evil 2 when I was super young, way too young to be playing that, and it scared the goddamn shit out of me. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Capcom completely butchered the series when they decided to turn it into an action uh, series rather than horror, and to me that's what Resident Evil is, it's horror, you take that away, it ain't Resident Evil. I thought uh, 5 and 6 were absolute garbage. I mean, 6 in particular was complete dog shit, let's not even talk about that. Um, but the fact that this game is horror, and that's why I'm giving it a chance, but the fact that it is horror means, I mean it is a step in the right direction, it's got to be better than 5 and 6, because it's horror, so it's going to be truer to Resident Evil than those pieces of shit were, so, look, anyway, let's just do it, we're going to start a new game. I just wanted to send a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I got to get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Ethan. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have... All I can say is that if you get this... Stay away. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You all right? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank, but she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Okay, so, Ethan, this guy, he's looking for his girlfriend, is that the story? Uh oh. And she's in the creepy woods? Oh, well. Ugh. See, so the whole game's from a uh, first person perspective, in it, which this is I'm not too keen on. I know everyone loves these now, these first person horror games, Slender, Outlast, Amnesia. I don't like them at all, because, um, as I said previously on the channel, I think they're just like, you know, one-trick ponies, they're just jump scares. To me, that's just lazy and shit, and I don't like that. I'm hoping this has more to offer than that, you know, so we're going to find out. I will say it's a, it's a pretty good-looking game. It looks pretty good. I'm playing on PC, by the way. Just throwing that out there. If you see any like, Xbox prompts, it's because I'm using an Xbox One controller. But, uh, oh, oh, no, I was just about to say I can't see my feet. I can see my feet. Okay, extra points for that. That's good. Oh, swiping away these, uh, whatever they are. Little bastards. Oh, there we go, creepy building. Like a creepy mansion. Reminds me of Resident Evil 1. Which is a good thing. 
my, my personal favorite in the Resident Evil series is by far and away the Resident Evil remake. To me, that's the perfect survival horror game. It's a masterpiece. Followed by, of course, Resident Evil 2. Oh, please, no quick time events in this game. Enough with that garbage. Alright, I guess we ain't getting in this way, right? We shall find another room. Oh, here we go. Let's just ring the bell, I'm sure they'll let us in. Or maybe they won't. Hello? Oh, I'm supposed to take, it's like another path to take this, here we go. This looks like it leads somewhere. Yeah, uh, Resident Evil has been, you know, from a first person perspective before. Um, Resident Evil Survivor and Survivor 2. And then uh, Resident Evil Dead Aim was a mix of, hang on a minute. I just went back the way I came. Yep, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I thought this looked familiar. Wow, good start, Ash. Good start, you idiot. Here we go. Found a van. Oh, look at this. The owners of this van have definitely been brutally murdered. No doubt about it. What's this? Sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. Can I... Can I open this? Oh, what did it say? Join us. Oh, so this is good. Are we going to get to, like, read little notes and stuff like we used to get in the old Resident Evils? Those creepy little... Uh, like, journal entries and stuff? I hope so. Accept her gift. Okay. Yeah, as I was going to say when I, before I started going the wrong way, uh, yeah, Dead Aim is from a, both a first and third person, person, person right, it's a guy going there. Um, but those three games are pretty shit, so, you know. No, oh, that guy just walked past, weren't he in the demo? He walks past the door in the living room, I think. Oh! What a beautiful piece. Look at that. Lovely. Very inviting. In we go. Oh, look at this. Combine items. We're going a bit old school here. We're going to have some herbs as well, huh? So, anyway, let's head in. What's the worst that could happen, huh? Okay, so that's locked in the fact that it opens the inventory means, but I've got to get a key, right? Well, this is good. I like finding keys and stuff. That was a big part of Resident Evil. Oh, can you imagine the smell in here? God almighty. It's fucking stink. In the demo, there's a weird duck thing in there. Mmm. How appetizing. Ugh. It's, uh... Yeah! Alright. So... We've got in the pot. Oh, lovely. Ah, fuck! Fuck! Cockroach soup. One of my favourites. Oh, that's a drawer that's locked in it. Yep, newspaper article. Over 20 missing in two years. Oh, what's this picture? Oh, someone with a bag on the red. Oh! We save our progress, do we? On a little reset, uh, cassette recorder? Oh. Would have been nice if they include the typewriter. But okay, yeah, fair enough. Right, so we don't need ink ribbons, right? I won't complain about that. <laughs> was never a fan of needing ink ribbons. That was a bit mean, weren't it? I used to do that. Especially since they took up uh, inventory space. Uh, oh, piano! Let's play the uh, Moonlight, what's it called, that they play in Resident Evil 1. Jill plays it. 
to open the... Uh, oh, okay. Let's not play it. I don't want to play it anyway, so joke's on you, game. Oh god, please don't let this game have giant spiders. Please. It'd be even worse in a first-person perspective. Some of you guys know I have severe arachnophobia and do not appreciate spiders in video games. It's not funny, okay? Developers, stop doing it. Oh, okay, this is the... Uh, is this the family? That lived here? Or still probably live here? Well, he's definitely a creepy looking dude. He's probably on a, a list. In my guess. You know, I hate those TV shows, you know, like Most Haunted and stuff, where they go around these haunted houses, well, supposedly haunted houses, I don't believe any of that shit. But they piss me off so much how fake they are. Proper yeah, annoys go. me. I mean, I admit, I would be a little no. bit scared coming to a place like this, but not because of weird fucking ghosts and crack? demons and shit. I'd be worried about pedophiles and crackheads. Oh, so it's a farmhouse, huh? Oh, shit. Well, Texas Chainsaw vibe. Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? No, he disappeared and probably murdered. That's how it works. Where is he? Probably oh, dead. Fucking believable. This guy never watched any horror this films? This is the last time I worked with that guy. Reminds me of uh, Blair Witch. <laughs> Told you it was going to be dead. Obvious. Oh shit. Interesting. Jesus. Well, that videotape alone proves we have nothing to be worried about. So let's head down here where that guy was murdered. Why not? Oh, shit. Ladder broke. Oh. Did not see that coming. Now I can't get back up. Oh, I'm stuck down here. Sorry, I can't help. <laughs> With sarcasm. <laughs> uh oh. So he's probably gonna jump up out of the water. Oh, just a body. Coming through a corpse. Thank you very much. That look quite zombified, actually. Is there zombies in this game? No, no, we're not going back. Ah, oh, dude. I want to see the zombie's face. Okay, apparently I've decided it is a zombie. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's crack it open. Let's see who we got in here. Thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Uh oh. What's going on back here? I'll leave for two seconds. Oh, God, she's gone. Oh. Oh, it's raining. Nice effect there, rain down the windows. Mm, nothing in there. Again, he really thought the phone was going to work. Come on. Well, the mirror's broken there, so he's not going to do the classic old look in the mirror, look down, look up. Oh, someone appears behind you. 
That is the shittest thing of all that I hate when they so overuse that thing. Bathtub. Alright, it still is being noisy. Jesus. Hey! Light, light! Hey, wait! Ugh. I thought someone was knocking at the door. I thought I'm coming! God. Jesus. Ugh. Problem! Quick, gouge your eyes! Gouge your eyes! Very ex is it exorcist I'm thinking of. That look, the, the the grudge or something. I don't know. Oh Jesus! Ah, oh, she's coming to pieces. I can hear oh. her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out! <laughs> I've been back. I deserve this. Knockout. What the fuck are you, Mia? Well, you should use definitely. Oh, God, we're gonna pull that all over it. Okay. So is that we're going for some weird possession thing now? Is it some devil shit going on in this game? I don't know. Or is it a new form of T virus? Oh, hello. No, oh, right it again. I got my hand. She's a pretty strong. Oh, there we go. She ain't screwed around. Oh, Jesus. In the neck. Good night. I'd go ahead and I'd take the, it clean off just to make sure she doesn't like come back or anything. I'd definitely take the axe, is what I'm saying. So, I'm going to take a guess and say she's not dead and she's going to come back. Oh look, she's she's gone. She's disappeared. So far, incredibly predictable. I still say this is better than Resident Evil 6, that's for sure. Oh. Okay, it gets So that's kinda cool, it sort of gets stuck in. I like that. Attention to detail. Oh god. Nearly got startled by my own shadow then. Of all the things, my own shadow. Anyway, let's see that. Whoa! me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. You shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! God, she's a cranky bitch, isn't she? Uh oh, hey, the tower takes his chainsaw mask. I think she's got a bit of an attitude, so get it sorted. Has anyone got a plaster anywhere? What could do with covering this up? <laughs> hey, it's, it ain't holding back on the violence. I like it. I like it. I am missing a hand. 
Well, shit escalated rather quick, didn't it? Hey, what are we supposed to do with this? What do we, what do we do? Should we go back to the bathroom see if there's any more? You know what we probably ought to do? Something like this, we're going to have to burn it, aren't we? We're going to have to burn the end. That's what they do in films and stuff, isn't it? They give it some burnage. I don't know what's that to stop it bleeding, stop infections. I don't know, but this isn't good. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm going to bleed to death. I was looking at this ladder really, but... Oh, I knew I heard a chainsaw. God damn it. Right down. Holy jeez, she kicked me right in the face. Oh god. Easy. Oh, she's... Some of that in the head. Alright, bullets do uh, don't work. Bullets do not work. In the face. Let's quickly reload. Um, uh, we should probably run, really. It's... It's, oh, I don't know if we can get through there. Oh god, are we just going to have to fight her in this room? Well, she ain't no zombie, because she'd be down by now. Definitely going with a possession angle. I'm going to burn through this. Oh, Jesus, she's going to stand with a chainsaw. What is the trick to this woman? Am I just supposed to run? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because I feel like this is... A, oh, God. Should we go through here? Here we go, let's hide under this table. Everyone. No, it's not going to work. Let's hide behind here. She's going to chop the door down. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Oh, was that a slow-mo bust through the door? I feel like I'm just totally wasting that ammo. Well, we could talk about it. I mean, Jesus. I'll tell you what. I'll hide behind the door. As soon as she comes in, boom, clock with a pistol. No oh, she's going to come through that. Okay, well, that plan's out the window. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Plan B. Welcome to the family, son. <clears throat> oh. Oh, and he stomped on my face. That's a definite broken nose. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for this supper. is so Texas Chainsaw Massacre oh, right now. Go. Where's Mia? Edith, it's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. Hit boys got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Let's do this. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, he's not eating it, Jack! He's not eating Get it! Get the hell up, Marguerite! Oh, they for him! Get the hell out of here! You're a son of a bitch! Oh, I can't believe it, you son of a bitch! He's not eating it! He's not eating it! This was supposed to be a very special feast. Come on, boy. <laughs> God damn it! I bet it's that cop again. God damn pigs! I'm coming back for you. Well, I'm starting to think this family might be a little bit on the crazy side. Hello there. She's just not looking too good, really. But look, an old person in a wheelchair. They were clearly fans of Chainsaw Massacre. Well, you know, it's... Yeah, it's alright, I guess. Uh, you know. Um, he's reminded me a lot of Texas Chainsaw, which ain't exactly a bad thing. Um... It's nice and violent. I enjoy that. Um, I'm interested to see where this story is going to go. You know, what are these families? What's this family all about? What's this possession thing? I don't know. Um, yeah, it's all right. I guess I'm going to keep playing. You know, um, it doesn't really feel Resident Evil to me, but it's certainly not scary. I'm not feeling. You know, it's not got that sort of an uncomfortable atmosphere. I ain't feeling that. Which I get from like Fatal Frame and stuff, but 
you know, look, I've only just got started, so we'll see what else the game brings, and I might give you my uh, thoughts on the game more in the future. So, um, yeah, it's okay. You know, it's alright. So, that's about as much as I can say, really. So, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you later.